Um, if you're thinking of the family farm, mm -hmm. there's a barn one in here. Mm -hmm. That is our barn from the farm. And I grew up on a sixth generation family farm. We're 100% Norwegian. <laughs> They never said I look like Norwegian, but everybody else is pretty blonde and blue-eyed, except my mom. She was dark, dark-haired. And this oh is our family. Hmm. And when I painted this, <laughs> oh wow, I was probably 20 years, 20. Well, when I when I left, this barn actually burnt. Lightning struck it, and it was one of those little barns. But when I remember our family doing this, I was about this big. And since we made a print of this piece, I had to make the hair light because first it was dark or else the hair wouldn't show up because the darks were behind. And this is my mom. And that would be my one, I had one brother and my older sister, she would never go in the barn. So she's not in it. And that was grandpa. And grandma and grandpa lived in part of our house because they, they lived right, there all Right, because when life. my parents looked at this, they're like, shocked because the barn was gone and they go where did you find a picture of the inside of I said well I didn't have one I said I just painted it from what I remembered when when I was a kid and everything is exactly and daddy goes my lord he says you even got the 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 beams in our barn went and unusual they went across the barn instead of the length of the barn well I didn't know that I just painted mm -hmm. what I remembered he says, you even got that. And see, Grandma and Grandpa, they didn't want electricity on the farm. They didn't believe in it. They thought everything would burn down. So they allowed, when I was two weeks old, they, I was the second child, they allowed my mom and dad to put electricity in half of the home. So that's why here you see lanterns. And they then you crazy. see everybody wanted a print of it. So then we ended up, I had to go back because... When you are going to print something, it has to carry well. Mm -hmm. So I had to change the hairs to be lighter so that it would show up. And um, Daddy'd always squirt the kitties with, you know, like <laughs> with the milk, and they'd go, and they try to eat it in the air, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's our dog Laddie. And if you look close, there's old fly, you know, like fly sprayer things that uh, you know you remember seeing, mm -hmm. and those those teat cups that they would put on the, the milk machine. And when I look at this, I, I immediately remember the sound in that barn. It was shh, 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 and it was some kind of air going through these lines. I didn't understand all of that. I said, but oh, um, I didn't know what kind they were. I knew they made Surge and De Laval or something like that they call it. And I had no idea what I had painted, but I think it's a surge bucket, and it's made in Galesville, Wisconsin, and and that's their buckets. They were really proud of it, so they both wanted one for their office. And then Perina Company dealt with many artists, you know, through the years, and they were from Minneapolis. Well, I, I lived in Minneapolis for a while, but um, I had just built our new gallery over here, and here comes Perina, and they bought 27 of these for the offices of their higher-up um, and they had them framed, just like what you're looking at, because they liked it because it showed the back of the cows. And they said they, they have all these health products, like a health product division. And it had cats and dogs and everything else for all their chows, which I would have never dreamed. But they said it couldn't have been more perfect for their company. But, and, and it happened to be, awesome. so we must have had Prina feed on the farm, because <laughs> otherwise it wouldn't be in there. Because I didn't paint this for any company.